Hey there, crypto friends. The Stash is back at it again with uh, another cool crypto project that I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, it's something that I actually think is, is really needed in the space, but it's a big hurdle for uh, any team to, uh, to tackle. Um, I came across this project uh, about a, two weeks ago. Uh, it's called Presearch, and it's essentially a decentralized uh, search engine and they're just getting started with their project. They're kind of in a beta phase right now. And so I just wanted to you know, give you guys a little bit of preview of what it's about and how it works uh, currently and how it's going to work. So uh, let's go to the uh, website. So this is pre-search right here. This is uh, their main website and you can see it's a, a .org. Uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make this a decentralized uh, community effort. So it's essentially going to be a nonprofit eventually, and it's going to be owned or operated in a decentralized way, uh, you know, by by the you know community at large. Now, obviously, search is a huge, uh, you know, uh, part of the internet, and most people, when they think of search, of course, they think of Google, uh, the the you know dominant uh, factor here in search engines. You know, if you use Bing, sorry, I don't know, maybe you like Bing. Uh, other ones like DuckDuckGo are out there as well, but uh, you know most people's go-to search is always going to be Google, uh, and in particular for you know, usually an older demographic as well. So uh, there's a couple of really cool things that I like about pre-search, what they're doing now, and what they're were intending to do. So this is their homepage. You can see it has a very uh, basic search bar. Um, you can actually switch which engine you want to search, uh, so that you you can search you know traditional engines like Google but also places like Amazon, Etherscan, Facebook. So there's social searches in there, which is kind of cool, LinkedIn, uh, and, a, and a bunch of other ones. Um, so when you look at uh, what they're really about, I'm going to check out their uh, about page. Um, you know, like I said, they're a decentralized search engine, you know, powered by the community, as they say here in their, in their uh, header. And, uh, you know, one of the things they make a really good point here, which I'm going to highlight, uh, you know, in a world where companies control 77% of searches, you know, they're talking about Google, but they probably can't say it. Uh, it does. It influences a lot of money where it's being spent, how it's being sp uh, spent, and, you know, ultimately helps shape the perception and, you know, uh, content on the Internet because of this. And, you know, if you've ever um, created any content or tried to get your website ranked higher in Google, you, you know that it's incredibly, you know, uh, entrenched type of uh, a way to go about things, you know. Uh, no one really knows exactly how they rank things. Their algorithm changes quite often. It's not very transparent at all. And therefore, there's a lot of unfairness, I feel, in, in, the, in the, uh, the market. And that's something I've experienced for years now, uh, being a web developer, also having my own websites. And, uh, you know, I always feel like the big guys can throw more money at it. And they always seem to always have a better idea of, of how to go about that. So what they're trying to do is a decentralized search engine, um, which is you know open and transparent, so people can see exactly how the data is being quantified and how um, you know people are searching and how they're ranked, um, and the community gets to be to make you know decisions in that process uh, with the ability to vote on on development and uh, other influences, and uh, you know all this is kind of powered by the 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 pre token, the PRE token, uh, and their token economy or ecosystem. Um, you know, is is really a utility token, and so what it it does is it allows uh, advertisers to be able to buy clicks or to be able to buy well, not clicks, but you know, to be able to buy advertising and pay for it through the the PRE token. So you know, traditionally, if you were going to you know advertise on Google, you'd go in, you'd set up uh, uh, you know a limit on how many uh, you know uh, pay per clicks you were looking to get for your keyword, and you you'd pay that amount of money. And so pre search is going to do that but uh, in a tokenized way uh, where you can use your pre tokens to pay for it and then also uh, every time anybody searches using pre you're also rewarded the searcher is rewarded as well so not only is the advertiser getting their content seen but the people who are searching and then happen to see maybe whatever uh, the the sponsored content is um, you know they get that exposure as well and so everybody is getting some sort of reward for being part of the system now, right now, they are in their kind of beta phase, and so they don't have their own proprietary search engine they've switched to. So right now, you know, I have mine that I've uh, installed uh, defaulting to Google. So instead of going to Google directly, I come here to pre-search, and uh, I do my searches through them to give the, the, the beta platform a test. And so far, it's worked pretty good for me. 
Uh, and there's a lot of really cool uh, aspects of the project I'm going to dive into a little bit more here. So uh, I did uh, look into their white paper, which is actually pretty interesting. Uh, and they have a lot of information in there, a lot. And it's a really well done right white paper. Uh, they talk about all the different uh, models that they're, they're trying to overcome, you know, the issues they're trying to overcome. But also, you know, it, it goes into like uh, there are different phases. So, um, you know, phase one where they're just getting started and, uh, you know, phase two is essentially where they're going to be moving moving to the the uh, nonprofit format and establishing a DAO, right, uh, which is, you know, a decentralized autonomous organization. And that's what they really mean about making it a community driven community, you know, uh, project. And so, um, you know, when you look at what they've done so far, they did do a, a pre-sale on their tokens. And so you can see that uh, here's the allocation that they've done. Uh, their pre-sale was uh, 50 million. I was talking to the guys in their Telegram group, and uh, I believe right now uh, they've uh, there's about 170 million in circulation with a cap of 1 billion. And uh, you can see that uh, they've kind of divvied this up into different sections. Um, the token sale is not really, I'm not really concerned with. I didn't participate in it and I wasn't looking to participate in it. I really just wanted to try out the platform because the idea of a decentralized version of Google search uh, I think is a really powerful one, but like I said, a very huge hurdle to get past. You know, Google's this this giant corporation with tons, almost unlimited funds and unlimited development, and um, you know. A lot of people maybe don't necessarily agree with Google's morals or the way they do things, and I'm one of those people. I, I do use their platform, I do use their services, but there are times where I'm like, hey, you know what? I, I don't necessarily agree with this. Uh, one of the things I, I talked about or with my family earlier uh, uh, the other week was uh, my daughter uh, was really getting a kick out of this Google Home Mini that her her grandma had, and I was like, yeah, I don't trust that thing. It's a it's a spy device, and I asked, I said. Google, stop uh, spying on me. And Google had no idea what I'm talking about, but they know. They know. Uh, but anyway, so so you know, looking at the the, the pre-search model, um, you know, I think that they have a really good start here, and uh, the way that they uh, reward not only the searcher but also uh, you know reward everybody else in kind of the supply is actually really nice. Um, there's a really good. Um, let's see. Yeah. So there's a right here. So. The pre-search rewards, you can kind of see how, how it goes uh, in their flow here. And so you can see that, you know, 30% of the rewards go back to uh, the, or 20% goes back to pre-search operations, while 50% is going back to the, the searcher, and then another pr percentage is going back to nodes, curators, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, you know, I, I think that if they can get over that hurdle of, of, of adoption of such a, a huge product, um, I think that they really have a winner here. Um, when you look at it, you know, to be able to to get a, a reward just for making your searches through pre-search is actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, I'm going to actually show you real quick, uh, you know, so far, uh, I've, I've been doing searches on this. You know, I, I don't do, I mean, I do some searching, but I, I'm not aggressively doing it. Uh, you can get uh, some pre-tokens every time that you make a search. I think it's 0.25. Let me see what it is here. Yeah, so it's 0.25, and you can see here's the kind of token rewards I've gotten on a daily basis. They limit the amount of tokens you can get uh, per day, so it's up to eight uh, pre-tokens per day, and uh, I think that equates to 36 searches uh, that you make with a, a 0.25 uh, reward payout. Uh, you know, I, that's you know, like I said, I think that that's one of the really cool things with this project is that they do reward people who are searching, uh, but they do it in a way that's not uh, as easy to game or as easy to uh, you know scam. Um, you know, scam clicks or, or things like that are, are definitely a huge issue with the team uh, reading the white paper. They definitely have a lot of plans in place uh, to try and combat that, uh, in particular when the advertising platform goes live. Uh, right now, the advertising platform um, is not necessarily, uh, you know, something I've tried, but uh, I'm definitely going to give it a whirl. And I think that, uh, you know, being in a beta stage where they're at right now, they have a really good workable product. Like I said, the main thing really is is being able to you know switch between which uh, engines you want to search, and that's kind of nice. You can even customize it here as well. So you can see they have a lot of options to customize where you want to search, and so you can grab some of your favorite uh, you know your favorite places that you maybe frequent. 
you know, there's there's a lot of good crypto sites on here as well as, uh, you know, development sites, which I think is really cool, like Stack Exchange, Stack Overflow. But also I'm a big music fan. So there's great sites like uh, SoundCloud and Spotify that you can search to. And it's kind of all at the at the touch of a button right when you go to your search page right here, which is actually kind of nice, too. Uh, the way they kind of uh, do it too is they have a, uh, we see here at the top, they have these sponsors and leaderboards. So the sponsors are, um, you know, people who have uh, a larger amounts. So you can see sponsors are ranked by the number of tokens held in their pre-search uh, ecosystem. And so most, most of the time, these are companies uh, that are supporters. Uh, you can see Genesis Mining is one of the biggest ones. I have a contract at Genesis. It's pretty cool. And there's some other companies on here that I recognize as well. So... Uh, they also have a leaderboard for uh, people who have generated rewards as well. So you can see that uh, the the dude <laughs> dude has uh, generated one million. Uh, oh no, he's generated one thousand six hundred and thirteen uh, reward tokens, which is a decent amount. You know, I'm only at forty nine. I'm not you know really trying to 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 get the maximum every day. I'm just trying to to see how well it actually works. One of the cool things I really did like about it when I first uh, checked out the project is they actually have a Chrome extension that you can install. You can see I've installed their little Chrome extension here. And what it does is it just, whenever you open a brand new window, it will um, make that new tab a pre-search search. And so that's very similar to what you'd see with like a Google page if you just open it defaultly on Chrome. You know, you have your Google search and it works exactly the same. And uh, so this just gives you a little bit more options here uh, at the end. So hopefully, you know, they can figure out exactly how to tackle this. I think that they've taken the kind of moral high ground or stand that they should uh, against something like Google. And so I think that kind of gives them a, a good advantage there. But then the fact that they're also uh, going to be, you know, a token based uh, platform where they're also rewarding the users for searching and for utilizing the platform and also making it fairly easy for advertisers to to um, advertise to you uh, through the use of the pre token. Um, it, you know, it, it will create hopefully a community driven, decentralized advertising network that, you know, is a little bit more transparent and a little bit more fair to everybody uh, that's participating. And um, yeah, so I, 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 don't, I think that you should keep an eye on on pre-search. And, you know, I, I think that's about, uh, yeah, that's all I have for today, crypto friends. So, uh, you know what I always say? Stash that crypto friends.